Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Whosoever, whosoever, isn't that an interesting word? To me, it's a beautiful word. It's old-fashioned, you don't hear it much today in our modern English, but in the Bible, you'll find whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's in Romans 10, 13. Whosoever. Isn't that wonderful? That means any person without exception. Any person without exception. If you will call upon the name of the Lord, you get saved. Any person means God will not discriminate against us because of our race or our nationality or our age or our gender. Any person of any type, if you will call upon the name of the Lord, you get saved. Whosoever, it also means that God is not going to discriminate against you because of your particular types of sins. As you know, I'm a street preacher, and I know a lot of other street preachers. And I cannot tell you how many times I've heard street preachers tell me or ask me this question. Well, you don't think... A, a homosexual can get, go to heaven, do you? They'll single out homosexuality or you could single out any type of sin and say, well, that type of sinner can't be saved. But the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It, it's not an issue of the types of sins we do. And it's also not an issue the number of sins that we do. I know that we all have our own preferences for types of sins and I know that some of us sin a lot more than others. I certainly don't want to sin. But as long as I'm living in this body of flesh as as long as I have this old man that's going to battle against the new man, the new creature, the child of God, I will always struggle with some sin. And as I grow and mature spiritually, I'll get more and more victorious over sin. And it's my great desire to not sin anymore. But we all continue to sin as long as we live in this body. Now, some people are full of spiritual pride. And they think, well, they don't, uh, they don't sin like the other people. You're just like that Pharisee that Jesus condemned. He said, oh, uh, God, thank you that I'm not like these other people. I, I tithe and I do this and I do that. Spiritual pride. Is that what you have? You think you're better than other people because... They sin more than you? Well, it's my opinion that spiritual pride might be the worst sin of all. But who am I to judge? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you sin a million times, or a thousand times, or a hundred times, or one time, You're a sinner, and you need the Savior. And even the worst sinners of all, if you will call upon the name of the Lord, you get saved. It says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever 
believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There it is again. That, that word, whosoever. Any person without exception who believes in Jesus Christ as their Savior will not perish in hell. Instead, you'll have eternal life in heaven. Whosoever. But let's also examine what does it mean to call upon the name of the Lord? What does it mean to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that's what I want you to do. If you do not have Jesus Christ as your Savior right now, this is what I'm going to urge you to do. Call upon the name of the Lord. First of all, you've got to know the name of the Lord. Do you know the name of the Lord? His name is Jesus Christ. Do you know who He is? He is God Himself. Jesus Christ said that He came down from heaven. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. The Bible says the Word became flesh and lived among us. God became flesh. He became a man and lived among us. Why did He do it? Jesus told us why. He said, I came to give my life as a ransom. God came down from heaven, became a man, Jesus Christ. He did it so He would give His life as a ransom, a payment for your sins and mine. Call upon the name of the Lord. His name is Jesus Christ. He's God in the flesh. He is the Savior. The only way to be saved. Call upon Him. Go to Jesus Christ for salvation. That's what the verse means. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord gets saved. You've got to know the name of the Lord. You've got to know who He is. And you've got to go to Jesus to get salvation. You can't get it from Buddha or Muhammad or the Pope or the Virgin Mary. You've got to go to Jesus Christ to get salvation. Will you call upon the name of the Lord and be saved? Believe in Jesus Christ for salvation. Believe in Him. That means you're not believing in your own ability. You're not believing in a religion to save you. You're believing in Jesus Christ for salvation. You're relying on Jesus. You're depending on Jesus. You're trusting Jesus. I don't even like the word Christian or Christianity as much as I like the word Christ in. Christ in. Because I want to emphasize it's Christ. It's about Jesus Christ. It's about believing in Him and depending on Christ. Christianity. No, it's Christianity. It's all about Christ. I'm going to ask you to stop making it about yourself, your own righteousness, your own ability, your ability to stop sinning, your ability to live a good life, your ability to give to charity, your ability to follow religious rules. That's why I'm a Christian. I'm trusting Christ for my salvation. I'm relying on Christ. And whosoever believes in Jesus Christ gets saved. Who Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus gets saved. Will you do it? If you decided to do that tonight, if you decided right now that you're going to put your faith completely in Jesus Christ, instead of a religion, instead of your own ability, you're going to trust Jesus to save you, you get saved right then. He gives you eternal life in heaven as a gift, a free gift, at the very instant you put your faith completely in Him. And if you decide to do that tonight, please make a comment on this video and let me know. Thank you and praise Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Savior God. Amen.